This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another video and today, Windblade from Cyberverse Universe. And uh, which is probably my preferred Windblade because, well, I didn't enjoy much of the Prime Wars trilogy. Like, I mean, it was an okay show, but it wasn't that great. But I really did enjoy Cyberverse. Watched that with my kid when he was maybe three or four. Um, he kind of gave up on that, but I still like the uh, the show, and this is a good representation. I do have the figure for the 2015 R.I.D., which wasn't great for a figure. I mean, the show is okay. I kind of enjoyed it, but uh, I really like this uh, this little girl, and uh, she's uh, already out of the box, and I can't wait uh, to review it for you. But before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. And here we are with Windblade, and uh, be careful, okay, I've watched like three reviews of this gal, and everybody said be careful with that little piece that goes behind uh, her head, it's in the tissue paper, it's absolutely easy to lose, what do I do? Throw it in the garbage and then had to dig it out, completely forgot about it, so you just plug it in the bag right here, and you never have to take that out, I mean... The instruction will tell you, oh, you can actually do a uh, a weapon, not a weapon, but you can put it in her hand if you want to, I don't know, hurt that fan herself. Uh, don't do that. It's completely useless. Leave it there. It's perfect. Uh, taking a look at the box, you have fantastic artwork here and here. Love the face. And of course, you know, that's a... Uh, very close to uh, the episode face of the Najika from G1 with Perceptor. Uh, yeah, so, but I like the design of this. I mean, the cockpit area here kind of looks a little weird, but it's not a deal breaker, obviously. And I love this. Uh, the plastic color doesn't match the image, or maybe it's just the lighting, because mine is uh, purplish, bluish. Again, I'm colorblind. This is pink, as much as far as I can tell. So, yeah. Uh, 40 years, that's cool that they're adding that, so, uh, Cyberverse Universe. And then you have all these uh, nice figures that uh, will be coming down the pipeline. You have the instructions, uh, this is, you know, standard Hasbro stuff, looks good, does the job. Uh, the sword itself, uh, although the color is different, I like the fact that there's a little uh, wind blade inside. Uh, you know, that's not too bad, come on focus, there you go. Uh, it's clear plastic painted, I think, because this piece of, is clear here. Um, or maybe it's just an insert that's been glued there. It's kind of weird, but you have clear plastic here. Um, I honestly don't know if they could actually have two, two different clear plastic. Like, this looks to be one molded piece. But can you paint a clear plastic and the other? I guess you could. Not an artist, so I don't know. But I like this blade. A lot of people have complained about it, but I don't, I really don't mind it. So, there you go. And Windblade herself looks really good. You have a very nice uh, face sculpt. That looks really good. Uh, you have a little bit of blue, the eyes blue, the golden, the paint. Looks fantastic. Uh, the colors, uh, the blue highlights here on the chest, the gunmetal on the abs, that looks good. You have a little blue highlight here, most of her is red. You have the gunmetal here at the, at the, uh, the shin, uh, black foot, a uh, little blue highlight here. Uh, these are uh, movable, so if you want her to activate her fan, well that's how I see it, but you know, activated, they spin, and then black when they're resting. 
Um, you can do it the other way around, it's your figure, no one cares. Uh, black most of the, uh, you know, articulations, uh, and red all over. And then huge backpack with uh, the needle nose, not too complicated uh, to uh, transform, very different from our previous figure. Uh, I have two, my son has a uh, Cyberverse one, and I have the RID 2015, so we'll do quick comparison with both. Uh, yeah, I like this uh, this figure. She looks really good. Um, now for articulation, you have a uh, ball joint. Uh, well, yeah, but you do have to lift the head if you want to do a complete 360. Uh, but you do have a nice up, but when she's, if she was flying like that, she can't really look straight, but uh, uh, straightforward, but uh, you, you can only look down a little bit. So that's a minor bug you can have moved the wings as you prefer uh, you have a uh, shoulder joint that goes like this but there's two pieces because you can actually take this and uh, if you want you can lift move this a little bit actually a lot more but right now uh, it's not uh, hold on yeah I don't want to force it but uh, you know the instruction they showed me to Put it down in robot mode uh, or uh, in uh, alt mode because they do move so if you want a more come on yeah see you can have this kind of look uh, for her on the, the shoulder she does have a uh, rotation underneath the shoulder so bicep rotation you have a nice elbow uh, band but not quite 90 it's like i don't know 93 uh, you have a rotation at the hand, no moving fingers, you have your, uh, she has a huge backpack so you don't have, there's no way you can do the ferris wheel on her. She could, uh, but you know, kind of like that, but not straight down. Uh, you do have your merry-go-round, uh, the legs will give you a Johnny Cage looks really good after that uh, you do have a well you have that movement here you have your knee band looks good uh, because of transformation they give you a little extra but it's more like a, a shin plug right here so it doesn't really work uh, and then you have a uh, ankle rocker or tilt sorry but you don't have a back and forth rocking uh, but the toes do go down a little bit like this. So, you know, good figure. All right. Now let's do some, uh, well, size comparison. So here is Legacy United Cyberverse Universe Windblade with 2015 RID the Windblade. And honestly, not the greatest mold. Um, transformation is a bit clunky. Maybe it's just the style of toy uh, back then. Uh, it feels more cyberverse which, you know, if from every kid's show, uh, Cyberverse and um, R.I.D. or Earthspark, the, the, the plastic, you know, quality, it feels hollow and thin and, I mean, it's not a bad head sculpt. I mean, it's not the greatest either. Um, she has the uh, R.I.D. Uh, logo that pretty much everybody had. Um, I got this for like uh, 10 bucks from a kid uh, in the, the area. It comes with a holster, looks good. And if you notice the blade, they do have the same type of hilt. So that's pretty neat. I, I like the consistency in that. And I mean, this is a good blade uh, and it comes with, you know, the holster. So you can use it as a, uh, well, I think in uh, alt mode, uh, you can put it, uh, and you need it to clip everything um, but she can also wield this like a gun so uh, yeah but uh, this one's my new favorite cyberverse one blade and this is an actually pretty good figure for a kid uh, it has the gimmick where is it uh, I don't recall where it is oh yeah so you push down and the turbine kind of spin but it's old and it's awkward to do on camera but yeah there you go. Oh yeah, and her arm 
We actually lost that arm for the longest time. Uh, keeps popping off, so it's annoying. But uh, that di it didn't come with any weapons. Sorry. Uh, but I mean, it's not a uh, for a kid. That was perfect. My son still loves to play with that uh, wind blade. And my boy Sunstreaker MP37 KO just for scale. All right, let's take a look at wind blade in uh, alt mode. She is a good alt mode. Yes, the cockpit here, this area underneath here, it's too large. It they could have do a little, I don't know, thinner backpack so that it, you know, actually just uh, so that this would have been just kind of a wedge, just a point, you know. So that would have been nice. But I think uh, she's, you know, she's good. Uh, I like the uh, again all the colors. The gunmetal really shines. Now she's flying. You have the option to put the sword uh, between the the foot here. Uh, everything pegs in quite solidly. She's a good mold. There is landing gear. Um, I mean, here they could have done maybe a little bit of a wheel just to, you know, try to fool us that it's an actual landing gear. But I mean, she stands real nice um, and not on her chest like uh, the Earthrise molds. Um, yeah, I mean, she's pretty good. You can still access the this if you want to pose her, uh, you know, active or inactive. That's always an option. And also, um, this is, if you don't want to put the sword there, um, she's always uh, compatible for blast effects uh, right in the, uh, the the feet. So that's a plus. And of course, as every mold of this figure, uh, you have the hands sticking on the side and holding. Well, actually, these one actually peg into something. Uh, it's not every mold that does that. So there you go. Uh, quick look at her in alt mode. Let's do some uh, size comparison. So here's Legacy United Cyberverse Windblade with Cyberverse Windblade. And uh, you know, she has bigger turbines and you can see here the hands just sticking. They're supposed to be holding here, you know, inside the legs, but they really don't. So this is superior, but I'm gonna say I do like the nose here a little better painted uh, and you know, sleeker. Alternator Sideswipe and G1 Slag. For fun. All right, back to robot. All right, so this is Windblade, and I just want to point out that she's able to wield her sword with both hands, something that uh, I rarely saw in Transformers. Her articulation and the fact that it's a long handle makes it a possibility. And I think that's really cool because two-handed fighting style like a katana kind of makes sense. So. so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.